Hi, my name is Hugo Ferreira and I'm here to show you something I've been working on lately. I call it Mercury. It's a browser-based environment that mimics any common operating system. You have access and can run any number of applications and you can easily share files, pictures with your friends and co-workers. As you can see, I'm running uh, Mercury on Firefox here. Mercury is currently compatible with Firefox, Chrome, uh, Safari and Internet Explorer and Opera. So all of the latest major operating systems. As with any operating system, you will have your desktop, your app bar, a clock and your app list. I'm going to maximize the view area here so that you can see everything. Okay. Now, most people will start with the register app. This app uh, shows you that you can control windows easily. Here I have an example of a, a capture from recapture. Uh, you can minimize, restore and close like uh, in any modern operating system. I've went ahead and created a demo user. So let me just log in. I'm sorry if that sound is too loud. Uh, Mercury controls and generates sound events, so programmers will easily be able to uh, create these sounds and launch them. Uh, the login procedure as one of those events which you just heard. Um, well, where do I start? So many applications. I'm going to start with Google Maps, for example. Now, what do we have here? Portugal. As you can see, you can resize the window any way you want. You can minimize it, restore it, and even double-click the label bar and maximize it. This button here controls child windows. This window here is a child of this master window. So if I click here, it disappears. Okay. And, uh, well, let's start off by searching for, for example, the Belém Tower in Lisbon, Portugal. So I click search here and it found our tower, I hope. Here it is. So this demonstrates how you can integrate an interface like Google Maps into a programmable window inside Mercury. Uh, it changes completely how you use and view Google Maps. You can have multiple instance, instances of the same application. So here I have three instances of the Google Maps. Let me close them. I'm going to minimize this one for now. You also have and can uh, configure shortcut keys. So for example, I can do Alt U and call up the upload application. I am going to upload a picture of the Belen Tower. Close it there. I call up my images. Here it is. This is the application for um, for your images, the images that you upload. So here we have the Boleyn Tower in Google Maps. And here you have a picture you just uploaded. Now let me warn you that uh, some of these applications aren't complete yet. They are most... Uh, they are proofs of concept, mostly, to show what can and can't be done with with Mercury, but I think it's uh, Mercury is in a state advanced enough for me to to demo its cap capabilities. So I'm gonna call up the upload application again, and now we are going to upload a few wallpapers. So I have a bunch of them here, and I'm gonna pick a few. Um, Heidi Klum, for example, Dr. House, Finding Nemo, 
a dragon, clownfish, and that's enough. So as you s just saw, I selected the multiple files for upload and the system is working on all of them, uploading them. As, as the upload finishes, you can see the, uh, the upload list getting resized. So in my images application, if I do a refresh now, I'm going to see all of the pictures I told the system to upload. Here they are. Uh, when you upload something, a file, an image, uh, an mp3, server side, the server automatically generates thumbnails for you in case of an image. In case of uh, an mp3 file, for example, the server would automatically grab the id3 tag and get the file length, the album, the artist, and so on. So here I have the, the various images I uploaded. Let me double click one. This opens it as you can see. Now what happens if an image is larger than your view screen, your area? Well you can just drag it so that you can view the entire image. I can maximize it, I can resize it. I can do this, for example, and pan it over here. I can upload the Ivy Coon picture. And again, I can resize it, etc. The house crew. Okay. Now, this. This desktop, I want to configure my desktop. Most people, when they are interacting with an environment, want to configure it. Everyone has a different taste, and that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm going to call up the config application. Like I said before, most of these applications are just proofs of concept. The config application isn't finished at yet, but it allows me to show you a few different things. For example, drag and drop. This is the My Images application and this is the config application. I can drag from one application to another. For example, I can do this. No problem. And I'm going to set this image as my wallpaper now. So. And now I'm going to set up my avatar. So I'm going to drag the Tower of Belay here. And then I'm going to set it as my avatar. There it is. If I log out now and log back in, the system will automatically render things as I want them. So I'm going to log out now. It went back to the, the default configuration. And I'm going to log back in. And here we are again. Now, you also have a file explorer. It isn't finished yet, but it allows us to list all the files we have uploaded in their type. I can refresh, I can open, I can download a specific file. For example, I'm going to click Heidi Klum here and download. And Firefox automatically opens a download window for me. Or I can call up the upload application and upload more files. So. I'm going to go into my folder and I'm going to upload two audio files from Prodigy. Here they are. I can close this up now, refresh, and here they are. Audio, audio. So the others are image type, these two are audio type. You can see the size, you can order by a specific factor, name, size, type. Uh, this list will have more tables. I'm working on it. Next, I'm going to show you an application which allows you to play the songs that you have just uploaded. So that will be for video number two.